When asked how she differs from Joe Biden over the last four years, Kamala Harris responded, Not that stuff to mind. Staying closely in line with the administration's policies and decisions. She highlighted specific achievements she personally values, like lowering insulin costs for seniors and enabling Medicare to negotiate drug prices. Harris also pointed to job creation in the manufacturing sector, portraying these efforts as key to boosting U.S. industry and driving economic progress. Would you have done something differently than President Biden during the past four years? There is not a thing that comes to mind in terms of, and I've been a part of, of, of most of the decisions that have had impact. Um, the work that we have done, for example, capping the cost of insulin at $35 a month for our seniors is something I care deeply about, about allowing Medicare to negotiate drug prices yes. and bring the cost of prescription medication down for, for seniors. But my intention is to expand that for all Americans. Mm -hmm. um, the work we have done to invest in American industries, whether it be in terms of manufacturing and creating almost 800,000 new jobs around manufacturing, those were all um, a shared priority. Well, However, such unwavering support for Biden's agenda may raise alarm. The last four years have been marked by notable setbacks in areas like economic growth, energy independence, and border security. While Harris focuses on health care victories, such as the insulin price cap and Medicare negotiations, critics argue these are surface-level wins that fail to address bigger concerns, like rampant inflation, which disproportionately affects low-income and elderly Americans. Additionally, government intervention in drug pricing, some argue, risks stifling innovation and competition in the pharmaceutical industry, potentially harming patients in the long term. Harris's comments on manufacturing job creation are also met with skepticism, particularly in light of the administration's energy and regulatory policies which some believe have undermined U.S. energy independence and weakened manufacturing competitiveness. Critics suggest true economic growth and job creation come from deregulation and tax cuts, not government-driven investment programs that can introduce inefficiencies and distort market dynamics. By aligning so closely with Biden's approach, Harris underscores continuity rather than change, a stance many see as problematic. They believe the Biden-Harris administration has steered the country in the wrong direction on key issues like inflation, crime, border security, and foreign policy. Harris's reluctance to acknowledge these challenges may reflect a disconnect with the real problems facing everyday Americans, raising concerns about the administration's grasp on the situation.